Look back at high temperatures today because today was a record breaker. High of 94 in Madison, 97 in Baraboo and Middleton, 95 in Janesville, even 100 in Boscobel. We did break a couple of records. I didn't get all of them here, but here are at least six of them that we broke today. All different areas, Baraboo, Madison, Prairie du Chien, Lone Rock, Montello and Reedsburg all broke record high temperatures for September 3rd. Most of them set back in 1960, except for Prairie du Chien, that record of 94 uh, was set back in 1895. But all of these high temperatures, it was a warm one today. We could potentially tie or break even more records into tomorrow and Tuesday as well. 90s are going to stick around for two more days. And it's been dry. Of course, we had our red flag warning in effect today because it was dry and breezy. That didn't lead to a heat index. The same cannot be said for tomorrow and especially Tuesday. I think Tuesday we start to see that heat index near about 99. I do think right now it stays below the triple digits, but it'll be very close to it there. Here comes a cold front though. Temperatures will be cooling down. I think we'll make it into the low 80s on Wednesday and then drop into the 70s for Thursday and that sticks around for a little while. I think we're in the upper 70s, lower 80s as we go into next weekend there, the second weekend of September. Another thing that we're watching is your dew points. That's how we track our humidity. When they get in the low 60s, not too bad. You might feel a little mugginess there, uh, but really it's pretty comfortable. It's when that dew point gets into the upper 60s, low 70s uh, when things start to get uncomfortable. If you remember our last heat wave, that heat index, or I'm sorry, that dew point was near almost 80 degrees in some areas. That led to a heat index near 120. We're not dealing with that, but as we go into Tuesday especially, I do think that heat index makes its way to about 70 degrees, which will lead to a heat index there, that dew point temperature getting to near 70. So let's track out this system here, taking a look. A little humid for Monday, but rain chances stay to the south. Winds are out of the south there. That brings a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. By Tuesday, that heat index 94 to 99 degrees. Rain chances start to creep in, but I think it's really going to hold off until Tuesday night into Wednesday as this system gets closer and closer to us. Here comes that cold front. Storms do look possible through Wednesday for most of us. Not a washout, but I do think we have a good chance at seeing some rain here, especially Tuesday night. And then once this cold front moves on out of here, uh, we will be much cooler for Thursday. The 70s, I'm sure, will be welcomed. Uh, looking at rain chances here for you, I think your best chance, like I said, Tuesday night, and then I think we could see some regeneration Wednesday afternoon as well. Not a washout, but it does look like we see a good rain chance here, which is good. We have, or Madison has not recorded measurable rainfall since August 17th. That was 17 days ago, so we definitely need the rain there. Temperature is warming to 82 on Wednesday, 70s Thursday and Friday, and then next weekend looking 